Thank you very much for having me at this debate. I'm going to start like I always do. I'm going to show images transfix in a way that words do not. Project Veritas believes that public policy solutions become self-evident when people know the facts. So as I'm walking to this venue, my, my friend here, who I've never met before, Barron, says, quote, doing a debate tonight on the Trumpist conspiracy theory, retweeting me. So he's saying it's a conspiracy theory, but as I retweeted him as I was walking down the street just an hour ago, it's not a conspiracy theory when you can see their lips moving. It's not a conspiracy theory. So, so he's attacking me for it being a conspiracy theory. This is tonight. Uh, so I'd like you to, you know, when you talk about conspiracy theories, we don't report anything unless you can see their lips moving. Not a conspiracy theory when you can see the person's lips moving. Okay? So you attack me and you attack my journalism. Well, here's a challenge for you. Name one thing about that that's fake. And if you can't, you better put up or shut up, my friend. Because, because I've won seven straight lawsuits, including a defamation lawsuit. You attack me as I'm walking into this event. Everything you see here is real. Everything you see here is so real that Trump brings Harmeet to the White House and myself to testify about this. This is as real as it gets. And my friend Eric Cochran, he lost his job for Pinterest. He's a hero for what he did. And you wouldn't know what was going on unless he lost his job. And he's here in the flesh. And I'm here to tell you it's worse than you could possibly imagine. Don't believe me. Believe your lying eyes. What is this debate about? James will tell you this debate is about whether there's bias. Is there evidence of it? And if there is, what should we do about it? I'll briefly touch upon his claims. But my position is, at the end of the day, the free market position has always been clear. It's not the government's role to meddle in speech, period. So it doesn't matter. What, what degree of bias there may or may not be, it's, it's not a job for the government. So let me start with the claims about bias. Fundamentally here, we don't know how to distinguish claims of bias from real differences in behavior in the real world. The reality, which many people in this room are not going to want to hear, is that we have an asymmetrically polarized political ecosystem. The media on the right behave differently from the media on the left. The American right, which I have been a part of for my entire adult life, has become fundamentally diseased because people like James are taken seriously as journalists. And outlets like Breitbart, Gateway Pundit, are taken seriously as serious, credible news organizations. They're not. You said, you know, we're not journalists. I find that very interesting. That's a very interesting metaphysical point you made that I'm not a journalist. I don't know why I'm Captain Kangaroo, SpongeBob SquarePont, SquarePants. I've had the story for three years. I've had this interview with Virginia Roberts. We would not put it on the air. Um, first of all, I was told, who's Jeffrey Epstein? No one knows who that is. This is a stupid story. Um, then the palace found out that we had her whole allegations about Prince Andrew and threatened us a million different ways. Okay, if it wasn't for the, the non-journalists of the world, no one would have seen that. The key word was liar. I was called a liar. I will personally donate $10,000 to the charity of your choice if you can name one thing since Project Veritas was incorporated in 2000, April 2011 that we have lied about. $10,000 to the charity of your choice. Just name one lie. Put up or shut up. Let me continue. This is my time. Uh, this, can, can, can the moderator come forward, please? No, 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 Baron. It's, it's Baron? It's Baron, I know that... It was rhetorical. James, I, I know that really got under your skin, but you won't be able to do it. But to quote Justice Brandeis, sunlight will be the best disinfectant. That is why in 2020 you'll see many poor people like Eric Cochran and Greg Koppel will come out of the woodwork. In fact, Project Veritas has dozens of insiders inside these companies filming right now. And that's how we're going to change the world. We're going to show people the facts that are manifestly damning, despite what my friends say over here about conspiracy theories. The facts will be manifestly damning, and it'll compel a public policy reform. I don't know what it is, but it will compel it to happen. Thank you. A big round of applause for, for all of the debate participants. Shut up, kid.